Good morning, everyone. How are we doing? Welcome to our weekly sales meeting. Very excited to be with you this morning as we are going to run down all the great things that are coming down the pike in the month of August uh, and a few things into September as well. And then we're going to do a deep dive into this thing that is coaching, a big part of our company, our culture, and what drives a lot of agent success. Um, we're actually going to have a focus on it for this month. Uh, and I'll tell you a little bit more about why as we get to the top of the hour. But um, we have a really cool month slated where we are going to see some live coaching sessions and our in-person meetings that are happening in Rocky River and Pepper Pike later this month. We're going to uh, hopefully be able to hear from some MAPS coaches, uh, some bold coaches, some life coaches, and really uh, illuminate as much as we can about the conversation. So today is all about setting the stage for that and providing uh, a good amount mm -hmm. of context and information for you uh, as you think about like, hey, what is this whole coaching thing? Uh, we're going to start today's session as we always do with a focus on our beliefs. So these 10 behaviors are really integral to our culture. This is how our culture shows up in action. And uh, I know it's typically we reserve the sharing from the audience for whenever we are in person, but I don't want to uh, deny anybody the opportunity seeing so many smiling faces, so many cameras on. I thought I would uh, open the floor up to anybody who wants to highlight one of these. What are you trying to manifest this week? What is uh, what is your focus or what have you seen? Uh, where you're like, hey, I I uh, I had a uh, co-broke that was really dialed in on communication, made for a great transaction. So let's just talk a little bit about these. Which one are we going to highlight? Anybody can unmute. Raise your hand. Hey, Mike. It's Bernsey. Hey, Bernsey. What's going on, man? Hey, uh, so this is just kind of more um, in general, but um, I just love how when I'm ever in the Rocky River office, um, you know, I guess I should probably preface this by saying I'm highlighting uh, teamwork. Um, you know, whenever I have an issue, whenever I have a problem or I come across something that um, that that I haven't encountered before, I love how I can just walk around the office and ask for advice. Uh, that is one of the reasons I came back to Keller Williams and um, I just, I love that. You know, I came across a situation where I've never had experience with a short sale before. And, and one of my buyers was interested in a home that was being offered on the MLS as a short sale. And so, you know, rather than Google searching it for an hour, I, you know, I walked around the office, I talked to Pete, I talked to Liz, I talked to Chris and just got three different, you know, people, who, people who are, um, equally or more um, knowledgeable and experienced than I am to, to lean on them for that. And uh, I'm just, I'm always grateful to be able to do that, knowing that as part of our culture, everyone's always going to be open to that and open to questions and helping, helping me out. Yeah. I think uh, that's such, such a great highlight, Chris. And, and thank you for sharing that. It is it is unlike uh, any other place that I've been and and folks who've certainly been other places uh, know that that just default to helping each other is not uh, commonplace globally. Uh, boy, what if it was though? <laughs> All right, let's get one more. Who else wants to share? Just need one more, and or I'll I can I can call on people. I can unmute you from where I'm at. Hey, good morning, Michael. Hey, good morning, Ellis. How are you, sir? I'm good, sir. How are you? I'm well. Uh, I guess uh, communication is is big right now for me. Just starting off, uh, I've been working kind of behind the scenes for the last 25 years in real estate. So, you know, to represent someone's interests in the marketplace is pretty dynamic 
I'm 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 learning. But uh, first of all, I just start with the visualization of you know what I have for myself, you know, in the marketplace, and with that, I just communicate as clear as possible to prospects, you know, about Keller Williams, about what you know my skill set, experiences, what we have to offer. And I guess it goes hand in hand with trust, you know, work and integrity, you know, understanding that I'm representing not just myself, but a, you know, a conglomerate of those who want to, you know, just treat people well, uh, work in the best interests of our clients, uh, and, and just feed them as much information as possible about their goals. Uh, mm -hmm. That allows them, that allows a bridge for them to kind of communicate what their goals are with the transaction. So uh, starting off, uh, even though I was with a small boutique firm before, uh, things were done differently. There wasn't a lot of communication internal, you know, so uh, this is definitely very refreshing for me. Uh, I'm I'm glad to hear that, Ellis. And, you know, in this, in the context of everything that's changing with our industry, you know, you 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 brought something to mind for me uh, when you talk about sharing who we are with our clients. Um, there are there are two paths for us to go down. Uh, we can go down the path of justifying our price, uh, or we can go down the path of demonstrating tremendous value. Uh, if we focus on demonstrating value to our clients, there is uh, there will never be uh, a question around our worth. And when you focus on these things and team, share them with your clients. You know, you just heard Ellis say, like he's talking to his prospects about who we are and the way we do business. Um, you know, it, it serves us at a very high level uh, as we try to get into relationship uh, with agents and uh, people who are coming into the industry. Uh, I hear time and time again, we're the only company that they'll interview with that talks about their mission, their vision, their values, their beliefs, their perspective, their purpose, and why it's important in the real estate industry. Uh, if you don't have our belief system or our values or our vision in your listing presentation or buyer consultation, it, we're we're leaving a, a big piece of leverage on the table to have a conversation with what our clients should expect from us and get into deeper relationship with them, focused on their goals and how we can help them achieve their outcomes. Tremendous stuff. Thank you both, Bernsey and Ellis. Uh, congrats to all of our cappers uh, from June and July. We had a, a system changeover in the month of June and it kept us from getting this out as early as we would have liked, but I think we've got that, uh, KWRI has that all sorted now. Uh, so congratulations to all these folks who made the most of their summer months and took advantage of uh, what we love, which is celebrating getting to them to 100%. Uh, this will go up in the Facebook page following the meeting. So please hop on there and give everybody some love for their accomplishment. And then if you know someone who is uh, got an itch to uh, build their own business, take advantage of one of the most exciting and dynamic industries that is out there uh, and take advantage of uh, doing things in the right way during a market shift to take market share. This is the place to send them. We had, uh, thanks to so many, a great turnout to our July session. We had nearly 20 prospective uh, realtors and agents in the room uh, for a conversation that was really powerful. And so we are thrilled uh, to be doing that again this month and very excited to welcome your referrals and help you build your profit share with Keller Williams Greater Metropolitan. All right, what do we have upcoming? A really solid month of August as uh, things kick off today with uh, this Zoom sales meeting. And then as we get in uh, to the rest of the month, we have some awesome stuff, which I want to highlight for you here. Today, uh, Realtor Collab will be at 1.30 via Zoom. So uh, there are three sessions this month, two on Zoom, one in person. And we're going to be focused on winning. Oh, nope, that is the July setup. Uh, we'll give you a surprise as to what the August 
uh, topic is going to be. I will tell you, it's probably going to be focused on getting into action, getting into activity and taking advantage of a pause or lull in the market that I feel like we're going to see from a lot of agents as they get really fumbly with the new mechanics of, of the deal and the paperwork and all that. That's our opportunity. That's why we've been talking about this since March. And so we're going to uh, talk about putting that into action, how to take advantage of it right away. All right. On uh, Wednesday of this week, we have a great session with two of our partners, Ohio Real Title and Keller Home Loans, as they talk about taking control of your transaction as a listing agent. Uh, being the listing agent puts you in many ways in a position of strength in the partnership. And you want to make sure that you are uh, asking all the right questions, getting all the right information and having the right conversations with uh, the agent on the other side as the listing agent on the transaction. And then on Thursday, very excited for this, Allison Benoit and Brian Bropes will be hosting a session on taking your first listing. So the uh, uh, you go in, you convince that seller that you are capable of handling their uh, largest uh, piece of uh, their net worth, their largest financial asset. And they say yes. And then they sign the paperwork and there's a pit in your stomach because you think, oh, now what? And so <laughs> Allison and Brian will both be taking you through uh, systems and processes that you can have in place so that if as soon as somebody signs on the dotted line, you know what you're going to do first, second, third, and all the way to the finish line for your clients. And then still time to hop on board with Mega Camp. So Mega Camp is, uh, did I double click that? Um, Mega Camp is coming uh, next week in Austin, Texas. I think we have 10 or 11 folks from the office heading down. If you are in a situation where you're like, hey, uh, I want to take advantage of this. This is the second largest uh, education event for Keller Williams in a calendar year, the first one being family reunion in February. And uh, this is gonna be a really, really powerful session focused on, you guessed it, the market of the moment, as we hear from top agents and the leadership of Keller Williams Realty International, all about what we can do uh, and what they are currently doing and what they're gonna give to us in terms of models and systems how to take advantage of this op this opportunity. And you keep hearing me say opportunity. And I truly believe that uh, what we're going to experience over the next 90 to 180 days will be a great opportunity for our best agents. So if you are interested, take advantage of, uh, of this. Hit me up, shoot me a text, shoot me an email. Let me know what you are, uh, what you're looking for uh, in terms of information. Um, you know, who's flying in where, where they stay in, you know, or you just want more details on what the, what the few days in Austin is going to look like. Guys, I'm telling you, I checked the weather, not even going to hit at a hundred. Uh, we're going to just be in the nineties the whole time in Austin. So really, uh, you know, don't worry about packing shorts. It'll be fine. And then heads up for everybody. Family reunion dates are announced. We are back in Vegas. Uh, apparently we have work left to do. There, uh, we're back in Vegas in February, early bird tickets on sale through September. And uh, we had over 40 agents uh, and staff as a part of family reunion last year in Las Vegas. Uh, as we as we move through the fall, you're going to hear more and more about this. But I defy you to uh, find somebody who was a part of that experience in uh, with KWGM that did not leave with stronger relationships, a stronger plan for, for the year ahead, and a really, really great experience. And then go, heading into September, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, slow it down here a little bit. Um, this, uh, I, I, I talked to the ALC last week, um, and I expressed to them, in the, in the last five years that I've been with the company, I have attended... Uh, basically every training that has been available. Uh, I'm very fortunate to have had that opportunity as a result of my position. Um, and this training is the single best one that I have uh, I've participated in in the last five years. Um, it is the most practical and tactical uh, skill building two-day experience uh, 
uh, where you you will be in a room, a, a, a small room. There's only, I think, 20 spots available, period, because day one is all skill build and, and, uh, and education. Day two is all implementation. Uh, and it is remarkable to see individuals who make the leap from, uh, you know, scared to go to the front of the room to, you know, booming uh, presenter voice, uh, speaking to the folks in the back uh, in the cheap seats uh, and really owning the presentation experience. If you have any interest in teaching classes uh, uh, leading, hosting seminars, client events, uh, I think seller seminar, buyer seminar, taking advantage of, um, you know, a better presentation of your listing presentation, truly presenting the opportunity of the home sale. Uh, same thing on the buy side, that buyer consultation is going to become more and more of a presentation conversation. Um, this is, you will not regret this. This is such a powerful session. Um, and I'd be excited to have you join me in there. I've taken, I'm taking it again. Two whole days uh, are, is is absolutely worth it uh, from an investment standpoint. Uh, come with me and some other members of the leadership team. Uh, our and uh, little little uh, uh, Easter egg for you here. Our um, our business planning clinic instructor, who is master faculty uh, and a bold coach, will also be coming in. For this session. So, you know, this is something that'll draw people from literally time zones away, and we're hosting it in our office. So, if you have any questions, any further interest in that, please, please, please let me know. Very passionate about this opportunity. And then, our largest KW Cares fundraiser for the year, the KW Cleveland Cares Clam Bake, uh, is coming back on September 20th. Uh, this is an incredible, incredible event. Uh, we get together, Mayfield Country Club. We eat, we drink, we be merry. But more importantly, we uh, deepen our bonds with our colleagues and raise money for a very good cause uh, that allows our organization, more specifically a subset of it, a community called KW Cares, Keller Cares, um, allows that group to uh, grow their uh, war chest so that we can step in and help agents, their families, or their communities whenever tragedy or unforeseen events uh, strike. And so it is a ton of fun. It is raising money for a good cause, is raising money for a cause that hits right here at home. Uh, and we are excited to uh, you know continue in, a, in, a, in the most inflationary environment in 50 years, still keep the cost right where it needs to be. So please don't hesitate to bring yourself, your friends, your family, your clients. Um, many of our agents use this as a client event. Everybody is welcome. There is, there is, uh, this is not an agent exclusive event. We want to get more people introduced to the company, our mission, vision, values, beliefs, perspective, and purpose. All right. More details on that coming soon, but let's get it over to our partners. Do I have Renee? Kozak on the line. I thought I saw her come in here. Nope. Okay. Moving on to, where's my Sean Hadley slide? Oh, there it is. Ohio Real Title. Hi, everybody. Ohio Real Title. I know I saw Janelle. Good morning, Janelle. Hey, guys. Um, you know, as you, a lot of you know, obviously the Cuyahoga County is going through the sexennial reappraisal um, time right now. Uh, Uh, is that, that her or me? <laughs> Can you hear me? Uh, not really. You're getting, you're, you're super choppy, you know? I might have to join from my phone so you can pass me up. Okay. We'll come back to you. Okay, Throw it over you. to, uh, I saw DJ in the office. We got DJ on the line. I see Hadley there. And Chris Bullock. Wow, we got the the three mortgage tiers. Perfect. Morning, everybody. Just to give you kind of a quick update on interest rates. Um, great week for interest rates last week. Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday was a great run. Um, we had seen interest rates prior to that kind of hanging around or just under 7% for a while. 
uh, wholeheartedly into the mid and for a short time, even the low sixes. So um, with points, you can sneak down close to 6% on a 30 year fix without points. You're going to be kind of at 6.3 to 6.6, depending on credit score. Um, our, our three most popular loans right now, um, 20 year fixed at 5.99% for, you know, an A plus buyer, um, already getting refinance calls on that, believe it or not. Um, our uh, grant program, The Promise, uh, $6,500 plus appraisal plus home warranty. Um, and then um, our Smart Start, which is a separate uh, down payment assistance that has no geographic restriction. So I've uh, been really, really busy. Um, yesterday uh, was a strange day in the market when stocks usually plummet, rates usually fare well. Uh, they didn't. So we lost a little bit of our gain from last week. And that was all reserved of a, the Federal Reserve Board meeting last week. And then unemployment numbers coming out, not so hot. Uh, so not so hot, bad news for the economy, tends to be good news for interest rates. We are sort of in just total, not we as a lending, but the economy-wise, as far as a lot of the market indicators, yep, some things say we're in a recession. Some say we're coming out of an inverted yield curve. Some say gas prices should be $6 a gallon. So everything's a little bit all over the place, um, but volatility is what to expect. But generally speaking, we're in a great place for interest rates. So the script I would tell is uh, if, if I'm working with a buyer, you really got to sharpen up. Rates just went down three eighths to a half a percent. There's going to be more buyers out there. Your competition is going to be stronger. You need a real pre-approval. You need to submit documentation. You need a realtor who knows what they're doing. To a seller, hey, seller, now is a good time to get the property out there because as rates go down, you're going to see more properties coming to the market. That's more competition as a seller. So that's kind of the line I would be towing if if I were an agent right now. Chris or Don? Shit, how do you follow that up, man? That was some good news right there. Good luck. Yeah. You practice that, Sean? Dr. Babe Ruth. Wow. I, I do have one statement. I read a, I read an article this morning. Um, I think it was at Cleveland.com maybe or, or Cranes. It said Ohio is fifth in the nation. Uh, for loans with PMI. And if you don't understand PMI, you could look at that two ways, like, holy crap, that's awful. Or you could look at it like, wow, this is tremendous. I can buy a house without 20% down, um, just have some PMI in there. And you've heard me preach for a long time now. Uh, we put too much emphasis on PMI. PMI today is so, so inexpensive um, for borrowers with really good credit. And it's inexpensive for people um, under certain income thresholds. So I try and tell people, just don't get wrapped up in having to pay PMI. It's not the end all, um, but it will get you into a house versus not getting you into a house. And if you want more information on PMI, um, I think uh, Mr. Hadley has a great, great presentation. Uh, what is it? Um, how's it, how's it work? go again, Sean? Having a PMA about PMI, that right is on. a positive <laughs> mental attitude about private mortgage insurance. There you go. We can, we can put that presentation on. Love it. Ahead, I'm good. Thanks, guys. All right, we do have the 15% no PMI. We have a fireside chat next Wednesday. We may dabble a little into the PMI for a teaser for that next big class. But thanks, thanks, Mike. Thanks, everyone. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, I think in this in this current appreciating market and everything going on, like you could also workshop a class that's like uh, there is no such thing as TMI when it comes to PMI. You know, you just. <laughs> Contract me if you need a if you need a ghostwriter. I'm I'm your guy, man. Uh, I love it. That's a, that's a great that's a great opportunity and a great point. Really important highlights. Uh, uh, I'm I'm gonna I think like what we were in May we were about seven and a half percent interest rates. So mm -hmm. we're down a whole point on the other side of the summer. Um, the opportunity team. The opportunity here is to get into conversation with your buyers about what is coming. Uh, in terms of the changes, because the opportunity that you will have in the back half uh, of even August and into September for people who are just waking up to what's going on, uh, what's changing with our market, um, as interest rates continue to come down, there's going to be more people interested. You're going to have to be capable of those conversations. Um, so uh, please take advantage of everything we're putting out there related to that. Over to Liz with the... Leverage Center. Good morning, Liz. Good morning. Um, I feel like we might need to update the slide to add Tori now, too. Yeah, that's right. Well, we're, we're kind of keeping Tori a secret for the time being. No, I'm kidding. Oh, sorry. Uh, we, we should do I that. Just blew it. <laughs> no, I'm seriously, I'm kidding. It's uh, we're uh, we're thrilled uh, for how much she's already doing for the market center. Great. 
um, since it's the beginning of August, I figured a uh, recap of July might be helpful for agents. Um, I know for me, it felt like I was down year over year and looking at the numbers, overall, the MLS was down. You're over 13.8% less property sold this year than last year. So the shift that's been predicted for how many years now, maybe happening, maybe continuing to happen. Um, we're seeing days on market again, go up year over year, but the price is also going up. It's it's actually $15,000 higher this year than it was last year. So some good, some bad. Um, but again, the shift is just an opportunity for the agents who are willing to put in the work. So. Yeah. The, the important reminder is that, you know, based on all the, uh, the seasonality projections and everything like that, we are going to see this year land anywhere from 3% fewer homes sold to 3% more homes sold. And, and I, I love the work that our uh, real estate professionals throughout the area do. What I want you to know is that like those homes are getting sold with, with or without you. The life events that are driving those birth, death, marriage, pro divorce, promotion, demotion, that sort of stuff is happening. It's our ability to be in the path of the customer, be in relationship with people to help them navigate it. Um, and so, as you point out, like the shift is the opportunity to take your unfair share. Yep. And so agents just double down, do more deals. If you don't have time, <laughs> you can hire me. That's to help right. You with all of that paperwork, so you can spend your time getting the more deals. Yeah, we may have to do. Uh, we may have to do a panel of all the some testimonials for you, Liz, because I know you picked up uh, several new clients this year as people have been taking advantage of the shift, and uh, I know you have some massive fans out there. So we will uh, we'll look to get that on uh, in the queue. All right. All right, over to Mr. Goldberg with Keller Home Loans. Uh, anything uh, on the on the radar for you? Anything you want to tell us about Wednesday's class? Sure. Uh, yeah, Wednesday's class tomorrow morning, ten at Pepper Pike. Um, we'll be Janelle and I will be talking about ways you can make sure that you deliver a seamless experience to your seller and avoid some of the issues that can come up if you don't do the right things up front. Um, and including from my side, you know, vetting the pre-approval and the uh, the buyer's lender, making sure you're asking the right questions to them. Um, one thing I wanna point out uh, just overall in the market, I had my first call this weekend from someone, not in, not in KW agent, um, but they had no idea. Their, their agent did not explain to them how the compensation works. The house they were buying, it was about four hundred and forty thousand. Seller was only offering five thousand dollars. Buyer's agent comp. Um, I had to spend about an hour explaining that. Thank, thankfully, I was on the uh, value squared calls a couple times, so I knew knew how to handle that correctly. But um, these conversations are coming up now. So, you know, they're, they're going to happen right now and you got to make sure everybody's on board, especially if their buyer's comp is being paid by the lender or <laughs> being paid by the um, borrower. Um, the lender needs to know about that because it goes on, the, on, you know, we have to source those funds. We have to document the funds um, if there's not, if they're not being credited by a concession. Um, so it's important that everyone's on the same page and communicating because um, this example, the, the buyer had no clue, you know, why he was paying any compensation at all. Um, so it was a complete shocker to him. So just from the trenches, that's the first call I've gotten so far on it. Um, so be aware of it. Um, next on the market, um, you know, Mike, you hinted at kind of a slowdown coming and, you know, people being a little more cautious right now. Um, obviously, the election plays into that. Um, one talking point you can have with your your sellers and buyers: um, home prices, more home prices and home sales have gone up in almost every election year going back in history. Um, so it's not that the market's going to just stall out and home prices are going to crash depending on the fate of the election. Um, so it's important, you know, right now with interest rates dropping, um, which is also a, a pretty normal. Uh, occurrence during election years leading up to the election rates typically go down as well. And we're seeing that right now for various reasons. 
Um, but but you know it's a good talking point to have with your your sellers and buyers that you know don't wait because waiting is only going to higher higher home prices and more buyer more competition with on the buy side. So um, that's that's what I got today. Awesome, awesome. Hopefully Thank we'll you see you tomorrow. Much. Yeah, we'll see you tomorrow in Pepper Pike. Uh, and then speaking of your uh, your compatriot on that uh, session tomorrow, I think I saw Janelle back on. <laughs> yes, no more robots. Sorry, I'll be really quick. <laughs> so um, as most of you that are dealing in Cuyahoga County know that the sexennial uh, reappraisal is happening right now. Um, your sellers or homeowners have until August 30th to make an informal, com informal complaint Every single one of those complaints have to be matched by the uh, look at by the county by November. Um, so the bills that your clients are getting now in December for the first half of this year will reflect those new reappraised values. Okay, so how can you use this for your clients on the seller? For if you have a listing, you know, um, if maybe you're in negotiations and different ways of concessions or something, if that evaluated sale price goes up, which will be public record, you can always do that. You might want to put money in escrow for that overage in intact amount. You may. Um, conversely, if you are representing the buyer, you might ask that. You might ask the seller to kick in a little bit more to make sure that that, uh, that tax bill actually matches because it goes off of the last certified tax year, which is 2023. Okay, so I know we're talking in years and everything, but that evaluation um, is going to reflect the bill that they get at the end of this year, early January. So I think it's really good talking points um, to let your buyers know, not to scare them, but to use it maybe as a negotiation tactic, or maybe on your listing side, hey, maybe you want to, maybe you don't want to do a kick on here, but maybe you want to kick in a little bit here to make it a little bit more appealing. I've seen houses go up a million dollars, literally in Beechwood to maybe 50,000 in Highland Heights. So you have your, your full gamut. And the last place to look is if you go to the Cuyahoga County Auditor, and if you just go in your search bar for estimated tax, you're gonna have current value and then a, a appraised value. It'll populate right there, the difference of taxes that um, that particular property is going to reflect. So just wanted to give you some more information that you look like the expert, especially for your Cuyahoga County residents. Love that. Thank you so much for that, Janelle. I know that there's a lot of conversations happening about that uh, reassessment. And so I uh, appreciate you helping us stay in front of it. Uh, and then I do believe I saw Renee pop on. I did, Michael. Thank you so much. I am driving, so I can't have video on. But guys, here's my only ask about warranty for you. Don't bring it up at the last second. It's an important part of the transaction because it stays with you when you get past the finish line. And that's really going to help customer experience and reviews down the road. So start bringing it up at the time that you're looking at good faith estimates with your lender. Ask them to include the warranty in those upfront costs. Do the same thing when you're working on seller net sheets or presenting it. Have that fee included in there. That way, during the conversation, it's an easier sale for you to say the warranty is important and we need to get it on every transaction. We know that funds are going to start being tight with buyers paying different fees, and we don't want it to feel like an add-on or an additional sell at the end. We want it to feel like part of the transaction because we're a part of your family, and we want to make sure that we're helping take care of your clients. As always, if you guys have any questions, feel free to give me a call, but please consider adding those fees into uh, seller estimates and good faith estimates. Thank you, guys. Awesome. Thank you. Um, I want to quickly, uh, before we get into our session all about coaching, I'm going to gonna pop off here. I want to share something different with you um, because I know that we have um, <clears throat> been talking a lot about, hey, these changes, these changes, these changes. Um, and I know also know that for the last six months, we've been having conversations about them. We've been having sessions. Uh, uh, a thousand kudos to our broker, Andrew Genter, and also our forms committee that has been helping us adapt to the changing market. Um, but I, uh, for those of you who maybe have missed some of that, I want to you know, direct you back to uh, 297agent.com, which uh, we have uh, stood up 
a separate page where you can pull all of the resources, uh, the sales meetings that we've had, the, uh, you know, what to do if all of the most up-to-date agreements, all of those things are here in your one-stop shop for the, you know, NAR changes that are coming down the pike. Um, and this will continue to be updated. Uh, you'll see some stuff from our broker later this week uh, or early next week with some of the, the final uh, updates and edits to some of the documents to help us be in position to navigate the changes. Um, but please, please, please take advantage of, uh, of what's out there and then don't hesitate to uh, reach out to myself or any member of the leadership team it, when you run into an issue or you navigate, you're navigating uh, some sort of uh, challenge in the new environment or any environment for that matter. Um, you know, uh, there's no no issue, big or small. Andrew and I just took, took a call this morning on uh, somebody had, you know, had their first deal fall apart and they didn't know what, you know, they, they was how, how am I going to navigate it? What do I do? What do I say? What do I not say? Um, you know, big and small, we're, we're here to help uh, everybody get to the finish line uh cleanly with their clients uh andrew anything to add about what's uh you know what's what's coming forward or or what uh, we should be uh you know what people should be on the lookout for in the next week or so yeah uh the 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 biggest thing coming out shortly is going to be just a small change to our purchase agreement the only thing we're going to be doing is uh putting some language in there that basically makes the offer uh, you know, a, a condition of sale from the buyer to the seller being buyer agent compensation. So that's going to go on the last page where kind of where you're used to writing in the commission that the MLS says. Um, there'll be it'll look a little bit different, but that's going to be the place where you're going to put that put that in there. Um, also, there is going to be a new uh, buyer agent commission agreement that also is going to need to get completed. Uh, in addition to what's going in the purchase agreement, because that will also state if, if um, you know, if a listing broker is uh, is paying as well as if a buyer is paying um, any amount of that commission. So the purpose of that document is also to make sure, like title company and, and every everybody involved is aware of who's paying what in order to get to that uh, to get to that commission amount that's that's being paid to the buyer's broker. So watch for those later this week. I had our final conversations with our attorney on Saturday. And I'm hopefully gonna gonna get those created uh, between today and tomorrow, and they'll be live. Awesome, awesome, awesome! Thank you so so much uh, for everything, Andrew. And shout out to uh, our uh, leadership team, specifically Carrie Mitchell, who uh, stood up this website uh, or this this new <laughs> this new page in about uh, forty minutes uh, after we came up with the idea that like, hey, we need a place for this stuff to go. <laughs> so. All right, back into our feature for the day. Uh, very excited to uh, to have this conversation. You know, I always share a little bit of my story about coming from outside of the industry uh, and uh, about five years ago and getting exposed to to coaching as a part of the uh, part of the culture at this company and 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 really having a high place in the industry because if it's not something you're familiar with. Um, it, it might strike a little bit um, uh, just like, oh, I, you know, like I worked in corporate America. Nobody had coaches. Oh, I used to uh, I used to do this, that or the other thing. And I never heard of coaching. Uh, and so I think that we kind of sometimes talk past like what is coaching? Is all coaching the same? What's the right coaching for me? And so, as I mentioned, we're going to have a conversation at our next two sales meetings that will be in person. Uh, where we're going to see a live coaching session. We're going to hear from some coaches that are inside of our market center. We're going to hear some testimonials from agents who have benefited from those. And I thought the best backdrop uh, was just to go through everything that's available inside of Keller Williams, exclusively to Keller Williams agents. Um, it is uh, so unique and so special that there is, and you're going to see the breakdown, there's, there is a coaching opportunity. There is a program that is a match for where you are with your business right now. And uh, I cannot wait. Uh, I'm hopeful that some of the stuff that we'll expose you to today, you might find that, hey, this is, uh, this is something I didn't know about and I want to learn more about and explore. Um, so first, let's start with what's here at 
Keller Williams Greater Metropolitan. We have two very, very talented and capable leaders uh, in our company, Eric Akbar and Wesley Croft, who act as our productivity coaches and run our productivity coaching program, which is available to all agents at our company that are in their first year. Uh, and it is um, it is available at no cost to the agent. Um, our coaches are compensated as their agents find success, but we as a company bear that burden because as a foundation for success in the industry and in life, we see that coaching is something that we don't want to have barriers to entry to for our agents. Um, and this takes place and uh, really happens for our agents in two ways. There's uh, a weekly uh, group coaching and training session uh, where uh, individuals will engage around a specific topic, um, you know, uh, getting uh, getting uh, their skill set built up around a specific lead generation function, understanding a transaction, partnering a title, uh, all those other things. And then there's the ad hoc troubleshooting and support, which takes place before, during, and after those coaching sessions, but also takes place throughout uh, throughout a week at any given time. Um, both Eric and Wesley uh, host uh, morning and evening sessions uh, to accommodate dual career agents, uh, as well as uh, some one-on-one -on -one sessions when people are really hitting an opportunity for breakthrough. And also, each of our, each of these coaches has a uh, an individual one on one intensive coaching uh, program for agents that are experienced or um, are out of their first year. Uh, even some agents who really uh, uh, power through in the first nine months may end up in exclusively one on one coaching with these guys. No. Uh, with these, with either one of these guys. Uh, and this is a separate engagement with either one of them. Uh, what's really cool is, you know, I can think of no less than a dozen um, mega agents, top performers inside of our company here locally that have participated uh, not only in the productivity coaching program, we have so many folks that are cappers thanks to that program and thanks to these two guys, but then the folks who have gone on to build teams or, you know, do the seven, eight, nine, ten million dollars a year in business through their coaching relationship, uh, and that's not just me. Uh, uh, you know, pumping the tires for Eric and Wesley. I think that if you would talk to folks in that in their programs, you would hear uh, them say the very same thing: a high, uh, high attribution of their success delivered to these two guys. So that's right here in your backyard, two really great opportunities. Um, if you are interested in learning more about what that looks like, or if you are under one year and you're like, hey, I somehow just missed missed the whole introduction to productivity coaching or anything like that, let's, uh, let's go ahead and drop Eric and Wesley's information in the chat. Wesley serves our West Side agents. Eric serves our East Side agents uh, in those capacities. And it, I would encourage you to really take advantage of it if you want to learn more about the opportunity to take something on your calendar to, to, to build some consistency around it and also to plug into the two guys who have helped so many people do so much. All right. And then a new addition to our coaching calendar. Uh, this is a, a group coaching format broken down into multiple sessions a month, a few on Zoom and one in person to to uh, cap it off. And the topics are going to change monthly. Uh, and so you're going to spend multiple sessions on those in a community of agents uh, here at Keller Williams Greater Metropolitan, where, you know, uh, myself, other members of the leadership team are, are both of the productivity coaches you just heard from, and some agents will lead conversations or lead activities around that. And this is designed for agents who are in that uh, more than eight units in the last 12 months. Uh, so folks who are who are starting to or have the have the potential or maybe the interest to scale their business. And um, we have been doing this for this is our fourth month. Uh, we have some really great traction with some really talented agents. And so if you haven't been able to participate, please uh, you know consider doing that uh, as just an another place to plug in 
create some relationships, have a sounding board. We will uh, undoubtedly uh, be having more and more conversations as we see the way that all these changes show up in the market. No better way for us to solve them than as a as a group of agents doing business. All right. So now we're going to dive into everything that's available for uh, uh, at the global level for KW through KW Max. So I'm going to work through some of these, but what I, I want to remind you is there's something for everybody here, even at the even at our local office, right? Just start now in your first year productivity coaching, ready to uh, take the next step in more intensive coaching relationship one on one uh, with Eric or Wesley. Um, opportunity to scale your business in a group setting, realtor collab. Now we get into the map side of things, and you're going to see a, a, a similar. Uh, model being implemented here. Maps Fast Track is the first one. And this is uh, access to specific skill building mastery training and coaching, right? And so this could be becoming a mega listing agent, uh, you know, leading a team, uh, getting buyer agreements signed, right? Like there, this that specific level of information and consideration uh, led by one of the top agents or coaches in the country uh, for KW. So you're, you're plugging into somebody who does it at the high, high, high level uh, with another with a group of individuals over a specific time bound period. So you might enter into a fast track course that's six weeks long and you're meeting every Thursday for six weeks on Zoom with people all around the country, homework, practice, role play, skill build, all of those things taking place such that when you come out the other side of your fast track experience, you have a capacity and a skill set that uh, just towers over what you started with. We've had several agents, whether it's uh, pursuing off-market listings, buyer agreements getting signed, becoming a master listing agent, uh, participate in fast track uh, and are always looking for opportunities to get more agents plugged in there. And this is this is something that there's no production requirement. If you've never taken a listing before, you want to take the listing course, go for it. Um, you know, if that is if that's your prerogative and that's your interest, awesome. We support it. There, it is it is drinking from uh, the well of knowledge from refined models and systems of top agents. Uh, and then there is the 30, 60, 90 program. So these are very position specific. I'm a buyer's agent. I'm a director of operations. I'm a listing agent. And it puts you in a 30, 60, and 90 day cycle uh, that is high intensity and small group. So, uh, you know, this is like the high intensity interval training for your real estate business. So, hey, I uh, I am uh, I'm working with a lot of buyers. I'm a buyer's agent. Uh, I'm going to take the 30, 60, 90 for buyer's agents. And it's like, hey, what do I do in my first 30 days? What do I do in the next 30 days? What do I do in the next 30 days to stand up all of the systems, processes, tools, everything I need to win with buyers? And the uh, I, I always say it's, <clears throat> excuse me, I always describe it as high intensity because you know, just like there is those uh, the skill specific things that the fast track addresses, this is everything that goes into your position or your role uh, as a successful real estate professional. And what's really cool is these have gotten better and better and better because they're they do uh, specific programmatic customizations based on who's in the group and making sure that they're matching you with the right small group, because there is a lot of collaboration that takes place with everybody um, that is in the mix for these. Again, no production requirements, no, uh, you know, no particular uh, requirements at all for the people who want to level up fast track and 3690 are tremendous opportunities and available year round. There is a new one starting nearly every week inside of KW. Uh, so again, if you're interested in that, please dive in. And then there's breakthrough coaching. So now we get into one of uh, one of the most powerful tools. We have a few agents actually in this program right now, um, which this is a bi-monthly uh, small group coaching and support. So it's going to be every other week, 
uh, 24 weeks a year. You're going to have a coaching session, but it's going to be with, again, a small group. Uh, and that group is going to main, maintain uh, consistency in terms of who's in it and the you know days and times that you're meeting. So you build out a little community here. This is designed for agents who are doing more than 75K in GCI a year. So people who are in production, cappers, right, is uh, is generally what that threshold that we're getting to. But it, it is going to um, have a very specific emphasis on taking everything that you've done with your business to get to that point and then adjusting mindset, motivation, processes, systems to focus on growth. And hence the name to help you break through to the next level. Um, when we start to get into this production level is where we start to see the real estate roller coaster manifest where I get really busy. So I got a lot of business under contract and then I'm worried about my business under contract. So then all my lead generation activities slow down. And so I, I'll have five deals pending, one deal pending, five deals pending, no deals pending, four deals pending. And, and you see how that goes. And we're still closing our, you know, 12, 14, 16 deals a year that are getting us here. However, we are um, not putting ourselves in a position to scale because we don't have the models and systems and tools to break through. This is a great program. It's the mo uh, one of the most affordable options uh, for, as far as MAPS coaching go. It's $450 a month. Uh, and again, tw uh, 24 sessions a year and several agents. Like, I don't know if you guys caught all those posts of everybody's like, my business is up a million percent. Um, shout out to Tori. Thank you for, uh, putting those together. Incredible stuff. Um, we are, uh, you know, several of those agents are in breakthrough and they're doing just that they're breaking through. Now, once you break through, you have the opportunity to participate in maps, mastery coaching. So this is weekly one-on-one -on -one coaching for KW's top performers. So 150 years, 150 years, 150 thousand dollars a year in GCI is the requirement. And this is a coaching program that will go deep, deep, deep on the models and systems of the MREA for implementation with your life and your business. Um, when I say that we have several of our top performers, um, I think about the, uh, if I think about the top 10 producers in our office, I think Eight of them are in coaching and half of those are in uh, maps mastery. And so the, you know, the, <laughs> you, uh, what is, uh, what do we learn in the one thing? Success leaves clues. And one of those clues is that if our, all of our top performers are in coaching relationships, if I wanted to be a top performer, I might do the same. And this, what's fun about this is it includes special discounts and, and uh, access to exclusive events uh, you know, things like family reunion and mega camp, your tickets included. If you're a mastery client, you don't have to pay for a ticket. So, uh, you know, the, the savings and the free, the free swag that you get as a part of a, uh, being a mastery client, uh, you know, definitely, uh, definitely worth it. And then there's bold. Bold is a coaching program. It's a seven week intensive coaching program. Um, that is, you know, all about implementation and habit formation, um, whether it's things around mindset, uh, you know, going on appointments, tracking your numbers, building your database, uh, all of the things uh, that we ought to do to have a big business. This is going to be a tightly packaged, uh, very uh, excellent sprint. Uh, Bold comes to Northeast Ohio uh, a couple, one or two times a year. Uh, we have uh, a bold coach in our in our office and um, several throughout Northeast Ohio. And so it is a great program that has driven a lot of uh, a lot of growth for a lot of agents. Again, just like the productivity coaching with Wesley and Eric or the one on one coaching um, bold is something that many of our top agents and top producers point to and say, man, that's where things got really different. And so, you know, in a few months, you know, whether it's in three months or six months, whenever we know that bold is coming back, you're going to hear me talk about it again. You're going to hear us start pounding the paper. I'm going to ask you to do bold. And I want you to know that again, success leaving clues. If everybody in the, in the top agent category for our company 
is a bold graduate who's done it multiple times, it might be worth checking out. It might be right for you if you want to break through and uh, and get to the next level with your business. And then uh, one of the most recent additions, these last two are, are outside of the real estate space, which is really exciting because we as a company aim to her, uh, serve the whole person, not just your agent needs. Uh, and so MAPS has launched a life coaching um, a life coaching uh, subset. And we actually have an agent in our office who's in the process of getting certified to be a life coach for MAPS Life Coaching. Uh, and I don't know if she is on the call. Let me check. I won't, I don't want to share her, share her story without her, but uh, you'll be hearing more about that later this month. Uh, but this is coaching focused on wellness, not just doing well. So much for us uh, where we drive so hard to grow a big business and fund our perfect life and do all these other things. Um, the life coaching and, and that focus on wellness can sometimes go by the wayside. Um, and this is all about, you know, who you need to become, right? We, uh, you know, it's on the cover of the millionaire real estate agent. It's not about what you make. It's about who you become. This is a way for us organizationally to really focus on that, get over those bad habits, focus on the good habits, get into uh, good image, self-image, good identity. Uh, and uh, we are, uh, I'm, I'm thrilled to be a part of an organization that is making this investment into people during a time where, you know, mental health and all the things that come with it are, are so top of mind and such a conversation that um, we, uh, we're, we're stepping in that gap for all of our people. And then uh, this, I believe, is the actual most recent edition. It's called Business Maps. And so I think this is such a cool way for us to do lead generation. Uh, uh, you know, how often are we in inter engagement and interaction with our uh, partners? You know, with the, you know, title, mortgage, insurance, inspection, any of the trades. Uh, you know, so many people in our lives are business owners. And so what uh, Gary Keller did uh, just a couple of years ago is said, hey, there's these models and systems work for real estate, but they work for everything else too. How do we provide opportunity for people outside of real estate to, to master their business, become a mega performer in their industry that doesn't necessarily have to be a real estate business. And so maps, business maps was born. Um, we just had uh, last week, some, uh, some uh, at a regional meeting or two weeks ago, I guess I heard Abe Shreve, who's the CEO of business maps talk. And he is, I mean, it's an incredible vision, but you know, anybody who is an entrepreneur ha now has access to a business focused coaching program different than networking groups. It's different than uh, going to a conference or being on an industry webpage. This is as intense and as focused as anything else in the coaching spectrum for Keller Williams. And it is something that is available to anybody, any entrepreneur, any trade, any business, anywhere in the United States. Uh, and it is, it is really, really cool to see what's happening there. And so if you have somebody I actually had this conversation last Friday with a contractor doing the work on our Lakewood office. And, you know, he's struggling with the contracting roller coaster. I said, you know, I, I often say, is there, hey, is there anything I can do to make your life easier? And he says, yeah, I need somebody to run all of the operations for my business. And so fortunately for me, I always travel with a whiteboard. So I broke out a whiteboard. We did a quick uh, you know, time study on where he was spending his time, what his dollar per hour was, what it would mean to hire somebody. Uh, this guy's a fan, you know, he's, he's a good businessman. He's a fantastic contractor, but like what we have access to on a daily basis from a resource, it, it you know, he, you would have thought I gave him the, the, the treasure map to the fountain of youth. Uh, when he, when he realized that like, he doesn't just want to hire somebody, he needs to hire somebody because he's, leaving money all over the place. And so having that sort of thing built into your day-to-day -day experience, we may, might sometimes take for granted. Don't get out of relationship with people 
um, without helping them understand that there's a way for Keller Williams to help them grow their business, even if it's not a real estate business. So that is a, is a lot. Uh, and you know, one of the coolest things you heard me mention, Hey, we have a bold coach in the office. We have a life coach in the office. We have a maps mastery coach in the office. We have productivity coaches in the office. When you look at the, when you look at the, uh, opportunity map that exists for Keller Williams, like coaching is a, is a path on it. Um, there, I mean, we have, we have people in our office who now make uh, way more than they ever made selling real estate as coaches here locally in Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, and I think that that's one of the coolest things about this is that it's, it is, uh, it is an opportunity that exists for Keller Williams agents, whether they want to participate or lead it. Um, and if you have interest in either of those, please reach out to me. I will direct you to the right person. I will connect you with the mastery coach in our office. I will connect you with the bold coach. I will connect you with the life coach. If it's something you want to explore, there is no harm in putting a toe in the water. And I can't stress enough. Our top agents and top performers are in coaching. They attribute their success to productivity coaching at the office, one-on-one -on -one coaching at the office, mastery coaching through maps, attending bold, like, the idea that we don't need it and it worked for everybody else. I'm, I'm here to challenge that concept for you and ask you to just lean into an opportunity that does not exist at any other real estate company does not. And so when we're here, let's take advantage of it. That's all I got for today, guys. I think we are right on time, maybe a few minutes long, uh, I am excited for uh, for what we have on the slate. I will see you in Pepper Pike on the 22nd, 20th. What is today? The 6th? Uh, yeah. So in two weeks, we're in Pepper Pike. Or no, two weeks, we're in River. In three weeks, we're in Pepper Pike. So August 20th, our last sales meeting in the Rocky River office before we make the big move. And then on the 27th, we'll be in Pepper Pike. And we will be... Uh, having some coaching testimonials and watching a, uh, a live coaching session led by our, uh, our productivity coaches. So get excited about that. It's a, a real nice peek behind the curtain for the rest of the month. Okay, team. That's all she wrote. Have a good one.